his main goal was just to say, what are the color of rivers? This is like a relatively simple question that we haven't actually asked or measured yet. And so we used satellites to measure the color of all of uh, the large rivers in the continental U.S. To my knowledge, I think this is one of the, the first times that river color has been looked at over, you know, multiple decades using like a consistent uh, measurement. found that about 30, 33% of um, U.S. rivers by length were changing color over the last 35 years. I think is indicative of the fact that there's something that humans are doing, whether on the landscape or directly you know, to rivers that is changing their color. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad or good thing. You know, in some of these cases that could mean a color change could be a good thing for the ecosystem river and other times it could be like a bad thing. The amount of suspended sediment, which could make it look brown or yellowish. The amount of uh, color dissolved organic matter, which is kind of that tea-like color you kind of often see. The amount of algae in the water, which makes it look greenish. found in that region, there are lots of trends towards kind of either bluer or greener rivers. And that could mean so many things also, right? That could mean less suspended sediment in the soil and the water. It could mean more algae in the water. It could mean less algae in the water. And so there's a lot to, to unpack there. In some cases, they can produce toxins. Um, that are hazardous to both human health and other, other aquatic life. The conditions that algal blooms kind of like are slower water in rivers, warmer temperatures, which climate change is gonna increase the temperature of our waters. turn this information about color into actual concentrations of those things I talked, I mentioned earlier. So concentrations of suspended sediment, concentrations of chlorophyll, where we can start to parse out what exactly is going on. Is this good or bad? What are the impacts on the ecosystem or downstream ecosystems such as lakes and, and you know, estuaries and coastal environments? Mm -hmm.